Hello, everyone, and welcome. We're back with another episode of Poll on the Call. This is episode 12. My name is Mandy Mack. And I'm Chris Rivers. <laughs> and today we are here with the amazing Scarlet Inferno, also known yeah. as Terry. <laughs> yeah, That's I love me. it. Terry, welcome. thank you so much for, for coming out and meeting with us oh. today. Oh, you're welcome, Mandy. Yeah. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you for <laughs> having me very much. For sure. Oh, our pleasure. And we, we've been featured, uh, you've been featured on um, one of our Monday Motivations. You've also been mm -hmm. very vocal on our all of our comments. So we really appreciate the support that you've given our oh, podcast right from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited to share your story because it's a beautiful story. So the world oh. definitely needs to hear it. If you two are so much fun together. It's always a pleasure to watch you both. Yeah. Thank you. you. really work well <laughs> together. So, oh, And you laugh you. at each other's jokes and that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. Well, but do you want to start with the uh, first question or um, we can... I can start with the first question if you like. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So Scarlet Inferno, um, tell us about the beginning of your pole journey. When did it start? How did it begin? Anything like that. Okay. Just to give you a brief, my brief bio, which turned out to be longer than I thought. <laughs> I, I, love it. I retired from working. I was an alcohol and drug counselor for a long time with the state of New Jersey. And I retired in January of uh, 2020, just in time for the pandemic. So I sort of went on a health kick at that point. Not that I ever was real unhealthy, but uh, I did a lot of walking. It wasn't much open uh, for months and months. So I never, you know, so I did a lot of walking, hiking, that kind of thing. And then eventually I started taking ballet. Hey, figure well. What am I? What am I waiting for? So I'm in my. I retired. I was I was uh, 66 when I retired. So um, so I started ballet first time ever in the uh, fall of 2020. And it was somebody in my classes. Who, uh, I noticed on Instagram she's also taking pole classes at a studio in Red Bank, which is near where I live. So I checked that out, and I went to my first pole class uh, in January of 2021, a little over a year ago, at the age of 67. So, um, and it was difficult. I never, you know, I never did it before. I couldn't get up a pole at all. I couldn't climb. Uh, I, I barely survived the warm up. Uh, she suggested I bring a yoga mat and I hadn't, hadn't have a yoga mat. So I brought a beach towel because I lived at the Jersey Shore. I had a beach towel, but she let me one of the studio's yoga mats so I could warm up. And I barely survived that because I never did any, I never did any exercising. I have no dance background except a few months of ballet, no exercise background. I've never, ever been an athlete of any kind. So it was all brand new stuff for me. But part of the motivation was to you know, increase my immune system, all that before, you know, before they had any vaccines. So a lot of it was sort of kind of from, um, from COVID, the COVID epidemic. Um, but also just, you know, I'm not getting any younger. So what do I got to lose? So uh, um and I asked around if I could, you know, if it would be okay. And she did ask if I had any medical conditions. <clears throat> so I do take medication, insulin, and a couple other medications for diabetes. I do take a medication for hypertension, high blood pressure. So she asked me to get, um, before my first class, to get a note from my doctor saying it was okay. So I, I through the patient portal with my doctor, I asked, you write me something uh, giving me permission to take pole dancing. So this is out of the blue for him to authorize me to do pole dancing. So he wrote something back, do it to your own tolerance. As long as you're not upside down for half an hour, it's okay with me. And that's why I brought that. And that, that seemed to suffice, suffice for my medical permission. And I still got it around somewhere. But um, I saw him a few months later when, in person. I said, Doc, do you know what I was asking you about? I mean, do you know anything about pole dancing? He says, yeah, I've been to a bar here and there. I'm not, you know, I'm not naive. So I kind of mentioned the things we do is a lot of exercise. And he says, as long as you're not upside down for half an hour, you're okay. And so far, so good on that. I mean, I do, I've been doing some inversions, but not half an hour uh, upside down. But, um, you know, because I was concerned myself. So uh, the first class was kind of difficult. I tried to climb. I really couldn't do anything. Um, I talked to the instructor. I said, this reminds me of trying to climb a rope when I was a kid in like gym class. And I could never do that. I couldn't do it. Big failure as a rope climber. And a few times we did it in gym class. 
she goes, oh, well, this is harder. So oh, well, that wasn't very helpful. But, um, but eventually, I was able to do one or two climbs just to get up maybe to a pole sit. Um, and eventually, I, did, I was able to climb, I was able to climb up to the top of the pole. I, I kind of, somehow it just clicked doing that. So that was a major thing, being able to get to the top, touch the ceiling, and come back down in one piece and do it again. And uh, so that was pretty interesting. So there's two pole studios I go to. That one's in Red Bank. It's called Shore Pole uh, Fitness. There's another one in Neptune, which is about 10 miles south of here, near Asbury Park, called the Lovely Lioness uh, Pole Studio. And those are both my home. I'll go equally to both of those. So they're both my home studios. So I just wanted to mention that. I love them both. Uh, you know, I guess they're kind of like rivals, I guess, but uh, I love them both. And um, the one in Neptune, Lovely Lioness, had... Uh, a performance group starting for beginner performers. So I looked at that. So can I do that? I mean, you think that, I mean, I just started. It's just, sure. And uh, so I got into that. It was a group of us. And we learned one song and one routine. We all did. They had like eight lessons in it. And we put on a part of a show that, that their spring performance. We were part of that. And uh, so that got me started. And I got a, got a, got a little trophy for that. Here's my, here's my trophy from that. So like, my first trophy and uh so that got me started doing performances and i really got a, a, i don't want to say addicted to it but i really got into it and it was really a lot of fun and part of the motivation for that is well i'm not getting any younger why not what am i waiting for you know i'm not gonna be i'm just new at this i'm not gonna be perfect but you can still do things as a beginner and have fun performing so i've been doing that of course i had to come up with a name so I've used the name Scarlet before because of the red hair and uh, something hot. I was thinking something hot. So Inferno, right? Scarlet Inferno. So I've been using that as my as my pole name ever since. And I love using it and it's kind of fun. And um, sometimes I forget my pole name. So, you know, I forgot my name. So, but I, I'm, getting, I'm getting more used to it now. But um, it's been a lot of fun doing that. I've been in like seven performances since 14 months of doing this. So that's pretty amazing. That's incredible. And have you, you said that you've never danced yeah. or anything before or performed no, before? No, a few, a few months of ballet and I was beginner, <laughs> adult, silver, we call it silver swans ballet. It's for people over 60. Uh, mm -hmm. So like brand new with that. So nothing as a kid, you know, almost no sports. No, I never went, really never went to play a little racquetball, a little pickleball, but <laughs> not an athlete at all. And uh, so part of it is my, part of my challenges is my flexibility is kind of, I'm still, it's a work in progress because I never did a lot of this stuff ever. And I don't have any muscle memory because I never did anything before. So um, <laughs> muscle memory is kind of within the last year or so, if I have any, but uh, so part of my challenge is um, just learning the different um, flexibility things. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really do a split yet or a pancake or anything like that, but as long as I get the muscles and the stretch going in the right direction, I feel I'm making progress. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I, I, keep, I keep going to flexibility classes and doing the best I can and I keep, I keep, take, I keep showing up. I don't post yes. a lot of pictures of them. I, I should post some more pictures of the flexibility stuff, but there's not much to show yet. It's mainly just me grimacing <laughs> and trying to, I got to do that? I don't know about that. You know, so some of that's like, I don't know. And uh, my first instructor when I, which you have me doing some of the warm up stuff, like a lunge and a this and a that, like I get, give her this look, like how to do that. So I had a, so it's a big learning curve and just for me, just exercise. I never really did much of that. So it's a big change in my retirement here doing all this. Oh, it's, yeah. been a, it's been a blast. <laughs> I love it. I love that also you, you always um, keep referring to how much fun it is because that's really like oh. what it is all about. <laughs> And very unexpected. I never would have thought, you know, I mean, I've been to a few bars in the past. Too. I've seen old dancers, I guess. But I kind of knew it was a fitness thing also, but I never thought I'd, I'd get into it. Oh, and I also <laughs> do chair. So I do pole and chair. I do a lot of chair. The reason I started doing chair, because I offered it at both of my studios. Um, and it's, uh, I use different muscles. So it's getting kind of sore from the pole and that sort of thing. Well, try chair. You can be using different muscles. So I've been doing kind of both sort of co-equal. So, and I, I brought my, my performance chair with me. It's right here. This is her. I got her decorated with all these decals from Cleo the Hurricane. So uh, uh, I've used her in performance. I brought her to Boston with me. 
And uh, two people besides myself, two people borrowed it and used it. And the, my chair got more stage time than I did uh, in, the, the, in the Boston competition. And my chair won more medals. The, I got a bronze for my art performance. And she got two gold medals with the people she danced with. So she's, she's way better. Really, she didn't interview my chair. She could talk about that, so, but, but I wanted to show her here, my co-star right here. So uh, I got her a wall, Walmart or something for 11 bucks, I think. Something. But I've been decorating, I've been tricking her out here. with. Uh, uh, I absolutely love it. <laughs> now I want to carry my own pole base chair. Yeah. Well, I, where I live here in New Jersey, it's an over 55 community, believe it or not. I'm on the second floor here of a condo. I got a condo on the second floor. I got elderly neighbors downstairs, so I really can't put a pole up. I can't be thumping around up here because, you know, we got neighbors around. I, I'll have to convince them to put up a stripper pole in the clubhouse. I don't know if they'll do that, but uh, that'll be the yeah. only way I could do I have a local pole besides my studios. That would be um, amazing. Oh, uh, tell me you about should, it. No, they, you should definitely do that. <laughs> they are so paranoid. We had to sign like 800 forms last summer just to get the pool open because uh, of COVID and all that. They're afraid of getting sued. and So having a stripper pole. Just, I'm probably, like, make the whole floor a crash mat. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I, yeah. That, that, that would, they, they would go for that in case anybody fell in the clubhouse. But, uh, <laughs> Oh, I don't call them crash mats. I call them safety mats. Because we don't want to assume we're going to crash. You're right. That's <laughs> such a good. <laughs> positive spin on it. Because I'm not going to crash, it might, but it's a safety mat. You're right. I'm going to change my language when I say crash mat. Because you're right. We don't want to crash oh, on that thing. I'm going to change <laughs> pull all together. And it's not, a, it's not a fireman spin. Firehouse spin. Or firefighter spin. Because there are men firefighters and the women firefighters. Right. There was one move called the falling lady. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but well, apparently a, there a is a firewoman spin too. There's a firewoman <laughs> spin too. It's really weird. Oh, really? I like there is. I like how you said though, just keep it one firefighter. Yeah, Why do we have fire, to add the fire multiple? House spin. Yeah. Like there's a Batman and a Batwoman and they're completely different. I'm like, why can't we just like keep it the same? Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. And then go give it another name. Yeah. So I'm still learning all the names for the different moves. And I've, I've learned a lot of, it depends on what country you're from. Like they call things in Australia, different than they call things in New, in New Jersey. And yeah. So it's a little confusing for somebody new, all these different moves. You know, like Jasmine versus Jamila. I'm like, I still yeah. get confused. I'm like... <laughs> All right, I think I know. Could you show me? Show me how to do that. Uh, so a lot of it, I'm still kind of learning the, the terminology. So, um, but that's good. It's part of the fun is, is uh, figuring all this stuff out and seeing if I can do any of it. And I'm, you know, slowly getting there and keeping at it. You know, uh, I got another performance coming up in, uh, in the middle of May at our studio in Neptune. And get this is going to be a secret. I don't tell anybody. But uh, the theme is the 90s. I guess the music's going to be from the 90s. However, they didn't say which 90s. So I'm going to start out with, I'm going to be wearing a long dress and a, a nice blouse and a hat. And I'll start out with something from the 1890s, probably bicycle built for two. So I'll be all prim and proper for the opening for like first minute. Then I go, oh, no, I'm in the wrong century. Can we update the music? I already got my music laid out. Then I'm going to switch to something from Motley Crue for the not 1990s. And I'm going to strip off the blouse and have my monokini on and the skirt and everything and really modernize it. Um, I'm not sure about the choreo yet, but the theme is there with, you know, so far with my routines is always this clothes being cut, that come off, you know, Sort of like Love it's, it. it's not it's not really stripping. It's more like costume changes on stage. So, um, well, that's that's my that's my idea for um, this performance I got coming up in May. Don't tell anybody. I can't wait to see it. That sounds so <laughs> excited. <laughs> that sounds so amazing. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I, I found that uh, in entertainment section of uh, PSO Pulse Sport Organization. That's sort of where I'm, where I'm living these days. Level one, beginner stuff, entertainment, because you can wear a costume or you portray a character, do fun stuff. You know? mm. So you can rely on that instead of, instead of just skill, which I'm still working on skill. 
and usually I'll combine chair stuff with pole stuff and some floor stuff and work it all in there somehow. So love uh, it. <laughs> and you know, in two and a half minutes or three minutes can take a long time sometimes for a performance. Mm. Oh like, yeah. Wow. So it's like you think it's like, wow, a song is just a song. It's like a long, but wow, it's it can take it, you can all of a sudden you got like, what do I do now? Almost every I don't think I've done the same performance twice because mm-hmm. I forgot something or I put something else in or something happened or my chair fell, something. There's always something different. Yeah, the chair falls down sometimes. Say, don't fall down. Fuck my chair. So uh, it's never my fault. So far, I have, I've been accident free, although in Boston, I skimmed my knee a little bit. I looked, I saw it afterwards. I was kind of, kind of bleeding. Um, so that happens. No, right, there are, dude. There are bruises we get. We call them pole kisses, right? So same thing with the chair. You get a little mix and scrapes. On my arms, I'm very susceptible because um, one of my medications is uh, baby aspirin I take every day to prevent strokes, which is good to prevent strokes. So uh, plus, I'm, I really am 69 years old now. So I have very little collagen in my arms, my forearms. So I bruise a lot here anyway. So, so what I usually do is wear like arm, arm guards on my forearms and they help with, they cut down on the bruises. Not so much the bruises, is uh, I'll break the skin and bleed pretty easy. So yeah, that's a, that's a real killer when I'm doing a performance. I have to stop the band-aids on or class. But with the, those guards that were on my forearms, it cuts down a lot of that, a lot. Except for the other day, I got myself really good on my uh, on my uh, elbow here, coming off a chair. So it's nothing perfect, but at least it keeps me in the game, it keeps me in class, and I have to sit there and put a band-aid on all the time. So that's just hey. part of being older, I guess, and having less collagen in my arms. I think, I don't know if that can be, I don't know if, I, I haven't seen any solution to that at this point, except mm. that um, don't be 69 years old, I guess. Um, so, <laughs> so I have to remind myself, even though I'm having all this fun, I really am my age, you know, and I haven't met too many people my age or even close really in polls. Usually, you know, usually young kids, um, some middle-aged people, but uh, even uh, when I went to Boston, PSO, there's a few people in the grand, we're a grand master category, people over 50. So, well, I call it grandma master, but we're grand masters uh, according to them and that's 50 to like a million i guess so this is no real infinity i suppose so um and they had us um uh, we we competed uh, my little group was um in boston was master and grandmaster so people 40 or 40 to 50 and 50 and above so i could have been competing against somebody like 25 30 years younger than me i didn't really ask their age I think they should come up with a super grandmaster for people maybe 70 or over because I'm going to be hitting that next year. So we, maybe they should we were talking about the PSO that the way that they mm-hmm. named it too because it seems like because now I'm a, a master <laughs> before I was a senior, but it's like that doesn't make any sense. I feel like there's well, such a wide gap between uh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, like 20 year olds and 18 year olds. I'm like, oh my god. Well, I know if you play chess and you're a grand master, you're like one of the top chess players in the uh, world. But for pole, it's just an age thing. Because I am yeah. definitely not one of the top <laughs> pole, pole dancers in the world. I just kind of started <laughs> doing this. But uh, anyway, that's, that's, it is what it is. And I haven't quite you know, focused on reforming PSO yet. You know, So far, I'll just stick with uh, calling it a firehouse spin now. Yes. What are your um, plans for any upcoming PSOs? Are you are you competing anytime soon? Haven't registered yet, but I'm thinking about Philadelphia because it's not too. It's like it'll, it'll be like a day trip for me here in New Jersey, so I don't have to spend money in a hotel room. Hotel room, um, and maybe if they do Boston again, I might the Northeast if they do it up there, I may, may go that because that was a good, that was a very positive experience. So and it's not that far. It's like you know, I think it'd be up that up that way about five hours from here. So it's not bad. And uh, so, uh, so that's it in terms of competition. I haven't really signed on to anything yet. I got this one, the performance coming up in May. Um, it's now it's, it's our local studio in Neptune, the lovely line. It's not really a competition. It's just, it's just fun, you know, which is, which is all it's what it's supposed to be anyway. Yeah, I feel like almost like you should redo that, the piece that you're doing for the showcase 
for a competition because it just sounds so amazing. <laughs> oh, they're, they're confused about what 90s are. I mean, yeah, yeah. Could yeah. Be. I feel Ooh. like everyone would really love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, I mean, I'll see how it goes. I, have to, I do have to come up with some kind of choreography for it. I just have a concept now. Um, right. But at first, I can't be too crazy at first. I'll have a long dress on and all that. So I'll do what I can. I and love that'll, it. That'll come off. That'll come off after <laughs> about a minute. And I'll already have my boots on. I'll have like a monokini on and maybe some fishnets. And, you know, it'll be a complete change from prim and proper to like 90s rock and roll. So, yeah, that way. But I have to come up with something to do besides just stand there. Uh, I'll probably have a. I'll be bringing my co-star yeah. involved. I'm gonna have to bring. I'm gonna have to have her in disguise at first. I have to put like a, you know, like a do big doily on her or something, so she doesn't look all something. And then I'll rip that off when I take off my. Stuff. So it should be all uh, '90s up that you know, eight, uh, 1990s up. So uh, love it. So it was my co-star here. So hope you post um, that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. Hopefully, somebody will we'll take some pictures of it anyway. So. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I, I would love I, to see it. I'm on Instagram quite a bit these days. I was never on Instagram. I never bothered with that before. I, but I was on it, but I was just there to look at pictures that people would take the places we went on vacation, or I hardly did it, did anything. So it's become. My Instagram account has become basically a, a vanity blog of my poll experience, pretty much. So it's all about me. So I don't really post. Maybe I'll picture my cat or my wife sometimes. Mainly, it's mainly it's all me on, on that particular Instagram. So, um, but that's what it's for. And I I put a lot of stuff up, and I try. I'm trying to put more realistic stuff up because not everything's a success. You know, like I'm having trouble with my leg hang, and I uh, wanted to put that up. Like, Still working on it. I haven't quite, not quite there yet. I don't feel confident hanging from my, just my leg, but I'm, I'm working on it pretty much every chance I get in terms of doing inversions and that sort of thing. But gee, I'm doing inversions. I'm upside down. My wife is like, you're yeah. upside down. Like, but not for I'm a half like, hour. Oh, uh, I can, no, not for <laughs> like, That's my limit. Bing. Like, like, who goes so upside watch. down for a half hour? <laughs> Well, that's my doctor. He, my doctor didn't know. It's like, I know. I know. <laughs> You know, I know. I saw your video. Like, yes, look at her. She's killing it. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm trying, and, and um, hopefully I'm, I'll keep at it. And it's just a matter oh. of muscle memory and getting my body used to it. My body's like, hey, I'm 69. I thought we were kind of done with all this. I'm like, not yet, kid. Yeah, we're just getting started. So yes. you yeah. Know, and you, so you said that your wife was. You said that your wife was with you in your ballet classes, but maybe yes. not in pole. <laughs> well, Is that changing? Start, so I decided to take ballet. So oh, I'm not going to take it too, because she took it as a kid. So, okay, she's better, way better at ballet than I am. So when I started doing pole, she just rolled her eyes. And there's a lot of the eye rolling in our relationship. We've been together like 30 years. So a lot of eye rolling. Um, so you, she rolled her eyes. She goes, you're on your own with that, pal. So, um, but after she saw my first performance, and saw how enthusiastic everybody is and how supportive everyone is in the pole, the pole world, she kind of got the itch. And so she's been taking some classes here and there. She's still, you know, she, she's trying anyway. She's, she doesn't, she doesn't want to do chair. She doesn't like, doesn't like being upside down. She can't climb or anything yet, but um, she likes low flow. That, that sort of thing she likes, um, but she, she's trying. You know, she's just trying on her own to get some classes in. She does a lot of other stuff too, like Pilates, which I don't do. She takes way more ballet. She's at ballet class right now. She takes way more ballet than I do. So, you know, she's, we, we can't be together and everything all the time. That'd be crazy. But, uh, but she's, we do share some of it. And she's very supportive when I, she came up with me to Boston. She's very supportive of uh, whatever shows I'm in. You know? So that's, that's great. And we've been married six years and together like 30 years, something like that. So never a dull moment in our relationship. I love it. So she had the movement background and then she got you into the the dancing. Yeah. So I was gonna say, yeah, wow, so just like I, you just both decided, like, hey, let's take ballet. <laughs> well, it's, what else? I mean, the whole idea, especially I hate to say when you when you get to my age, when you get to be like retired, you know, going to work every day, uh, you wanna have new challenges. You wanna keep the mind going to learn new things. I've heard that a lot. And I like learning anyway, so I didn't have to be, have to be told that. But um, so this is like totally different because it's physical. And I've never been physical, really. I'm 
never been an athlete, but doing this, it also works on my mind to figure stuff out. It's all new. So that's really keeping me young in a lot of ways, not so much, well, physically in a lot of ways, I have to say it's keeping me young, but uh, mentally it keeps me sharper and that sort of thing. So, you know, it's never, it ain't over till it's over is uh, the great philosopher Yogi Berry used to say, not over till it's over. So, um, you know, that's why I've learned a lot about just trying new things and it's not going to kill me. So, um, and it's been a very unexpected pleasure. And I've decided, you know, the whole pole world is so supportive of one another. It's like, like being in a support group just about every class. People really cheer you on if you're trying something. Just trying it, people like to see that, see you trying. And that's so encouraging. And, well, I really love that part about the pole world. Is that, you know, we're very supportive of one another. And I do hear it maybe at the higher levels where the people who are actually competitive might be a little different, you know, really competing i mean i was in competition so i'm not really I wasn't really competing i was just performing but i know maybe at a certain level where it's a little bit more actually competitive might be a different story but i, I don't i don't know i don't think so you know, so i met a lot of really <laughs> nice people and you know competition as long as it's healthy it helps us all to advance so <laughs> yeah, yeah no matter and where I've, it is and i've never yeah. been competitive i've never been competitive mm. at all not all although i I did try pickle. This is another like retirement story. I did try pickleball. I kind of like playing it, but the people, people are nasty. They're very competitive in pickleball. Yeah. Like people my age are like, they're like frustrated frustrated (laughs) tennis players maybe. And they're like, I don't even know what pickleball is. I know. I don't know either, but like, Um, (laughs) it's fine. It's, It's played on a tennis court. You use a big paddle. And the ball is sort of like a wiffle ball. So it's a little okay. shorter. You, know, you don't use the whole court like a tennis. You use the same like net, and the lines are shorter. And you bang it back and forth, you know, kind of like tennis. Um, it's, you know, it's fun. But talk about competitive. That like, fun. No, thank yeah, you. That's not I, healthy competition. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, you know, frustrated tennis. I don't know. What, I don't know. I just didn't like the people I played with. Uh, so um, maybe I'll give it a shot and then another time, give them another chance. But, um, I took some lessons. The, the instructors are great, but they kind of mentioned, you know, when you do street pickleball, like some of the parks and that kind of thing, the people are nasty. And they're right. Right. What so, that? <laughs> like, well, I don't need that. I don't, I'm not particularly uh, competitive. I'm not competitive, really. You know what? You're right, though. Like in all, a lot of other different like sports activities or even like the dance world where I come from, it's really like, weirdly terribly competitive but pole hmm. is like we're all like sharing <laughs> caring and like supportive which i i appreciate so much oh me too you know, it's <laughs> really because uh, my background also i, I go to 12-step meetings i'm in recovery so i'm used to having support systems or hmm. support groups and knowing the value of that like i was a meeting earlier today so um you know, so that's really important to me. And I, so I kind of noticed that kind of happening with the pole world, sort of. It's not really 12-step, not 12-step pole, but uh, it's sort of like that. And uh, I'm not trying to recover from being pole, addicted to pole, although maybe I am. Um, but, um, <laughs> I love it. And chair. I, like I forgot the are. chair. I always have to mention chair. Yeah. I feel like we oh, all trade in our addictions for something healthier, or at least that's eventually the goal. At least it's healthy. Yeah. Healthy and fun and harmless and, and yeah, and it's also a little sensuous and sexy and all that. That's that's fun yes. too. And to be to still be a little to be a little sexy at age sixty nine. That's not so bad. Yes, yes, I absolutely <laughs> love, love it. That. <laughs> I, oh my god, I always think about that at my age. I'm like, ah, oh. you start to feel like less sexy. Like you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh there's something new and I'm, I love that you're just like embracing it and like why the hell not I am still sexy at no matter what age mm-hmm. and that will inspire everyone too because like and like you said when you know you have um, issues with the skin you know but there's things to cover mm-hmm. like w- that we can have longevity in pole um, and, and dance as long as we want yeah. I think so 
as long as our knees allow it, because my knees are starting to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I, I do pay particular attention to the warm ups and all that. So, so far, knock on wood, yeah. I haven't had any injuries. And that's something I would expect that we get more. I've never been an athlete and being my age, I'm going to get more injuries, but I haven't, I haven't had any real, you know, I'm sore, I have sore muscles and that sort of thing, but I'm, you know, these kind of injuries where I, you know, break the skin, the band aid thing, but nothing really where it's put me out of commission uh, so far with uh, any of this. So the warm ups are really important and to get the stretch going. And everybody does that. I mean, that's every class I've taken. How's everybody feeling? Anybody have any injuries or concerns? They're all big on that. And uh, the warm up, the warm up is usually 10 or 15 minutes, usually, usually directed towards, I guess, what the instructor has in mind for that day. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to be doing more inversions, you'll be doing some more of that. Um, the chair stuff, we, we work on that. And, you know, so it's also always very apropos to whatever the instructor is planning for that particular class. So that's been very, very helpful. And I always pay attention to that. I love that you you like you could give your own class. <laughs> say, oh, like, yeah. Do you have any? Um, you know, do you want to be a, t a teacher in the future? Because like it does sound like. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Pretty much ready. I, all right. So right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So not yet, but maybe maybe in the future. You know, I do. Um, I think uh, I missed today's show. But I'm so I haven't seen today's show yet that you had on. I know you're going to be doing one on how to get certified and that sort of thing, or sort of yeah, that was yes, that's today's that's today. show, yeah. Yeah, so I was kind so of that will inspire you, inspire you, and give you all the tools. I want my skill level to improve because right now I really <laughs> couldn't. I mean, I can't do a leg hang yet, so there's a few things I'm not quite there yet, but it might be something to look at, you know, um, yeah. at some point. Yeah, I will say, um, doing the certification, it it really helped grab um things that you learn in class more i guess how do you say better or tighter yeah. and really oh, yeah. like um so i would love to see you as a teacher oh my god i might even drive down to wherever you're teaching <laughs> <laughs> i'll be one of those vagabonds goes all over the country and teaches classes in los angeles and new york yes, that and, is the go i love it Hawaii <laughs> and all that you know why not travel you know what am I, I waiting for? Love it. 69. Yes. I love these future <laughs> oh goals God. so much. <laughs> I know. That is definitely the goal. <laughs> I'll hit I'll hit all the retirement villages coast to coast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. And they'll all put up stripper poles in their clubhouses. And can you imagine that? It's awesome. so it's so necessary. Like everyone will be having so much fun. Yes. I think so. <laughs> well, see, in my I clubhouse agree. here, it's very typical they have bingo. Don't ever catch me. If I'm in a bingo class, please yank me out of there. Although they're having fun. I shouldn't criticize. But, you know, sort of stereotypical retirement community. Well, over 55. They have that. They have chair yoga, chair Zumba, and some other kind of lame <laughs> exercise we could have class. Chair pole. Yeah, chair well, pole. I have the chair. <laughs> Ready to I go. love it. Yes. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> but, oh my god, I love that. And there's lots of people in my community who could do this. Some people are obviously they're really way older than I am. They really couldn't do that. But uh, you never know. And there could there could be some people here who've had experience with Paul. I don't know. I never asked them. So you, know, you never know about people. You know. After this, I'm gonna have to start roller derby. That'd be a good one too. There's actually oh a girl goodness. I know. Well, roller pole is a thing, right? Roller pole. You ever seen anybody do roller pole? They're on yeah, yeah. skates I've, doing pole. I have seen I've seen it, people yeah. do skates, but like, do they really bump into each other? Uh, well, in roller derby, yes, but not, no, okay. no. Roller pole. <laughs> well, maybe. But roller pole, you just, you just you skate around, you do the usual stuff on the pole. This one girl I know is into it, um, and she could actually get herself, invert herself so her skates are on the ceiling. Man, so I can't even imagine cool. like well, like wearing those know, shoes be... is heavy enough, but like wearing a roller skate. Yeah, well, you know they're <laughs> nice looking. They're nice. They're probably little boot things, and yeah, yeah but they're probably those... heavy. <laughs> I can probably get used to it. I don't. You know, they may not be. I don't know. Uh -oh. I guess it's, I actually kind of want to try now. 
Well, you got to. Damn, I don't have a pair of skates. Probably conditioning <laughs> for that. I told her you should teach that. She says, "Well, I'll be kind of afraid because people will, you know, hurt themselves." Says, well, you know, you have them wear a helmet and the shoulder, the, some armor or something, you know, like anything else. You um, use the knee pads, that sort of thing. Very good idea, um, you know. And, but she has none yet. But she's really good at doing it herself. Oh, so, yeah, she creates or, creates the technique behind it. It would be safe, you know. Oh yeah, I mean she, she yeah. does great on that. She she hopefully she'll be in our performance uh, coming up in March. Ah. <laughs> Will this performance be online? Can we see this? <laughs> uh, I don't know what she's going to do. It's uh, Lovely Lioness uh, Pole Studio in Neptune. She might um, live Instagram cast it or whatever. That's oh, what that would be might. awesome. I would love to see. She might do that. Um, I don't know how much else she's, she's got going on. You know, the, the mm. owner of the studio is very supportive, but she can do everything. So it might be on that. I'm not sure. But, you know, we'll all have pictures and mm. little clips of that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's usually pretty good. It's, it's a lot of fun. And like the, the, they have another little group of people that are learning how to perform, beginner performance group, and they'll put it on their show uh, at okay. the end. They're kind of like at the end. So that's what we did last year. We were like, we were like the, the finale. We're like, oh God, we got to wait till the end. So we did it. And it's like four minutes, our song. You know, it's like all eight weeks of practice uh, for like a four minute song, but you know, we did it and it was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, so they have another group this year. I think, um, the instructor, I know the instructors who's teaching this, they're doing something from, um, something about Catwoman from Batman. That's the theme. I'm not sure about the music, but there will be like a bunch of cat women. I don't know. Something like that. Or cat men or Batman. I don't know. I don't know. So I we'll find out. Friday. Yeah. So they have a little theme for that. Yeah. And um, so we'll see what that. last year we did the, just a song from I forget the name of the song now. It was just a regular song. We all did stuff, but I couldn't do anything. The, my big thing everybody had to do a little something, and the instructor was like, Well, well I'm gonna find out what your strengths are. I'm like, Oh, I just started doing this like six weeks ago. I don't really have any strengths, but I was able to manage a pole sit by then and spin around some. So that was my individual thing, you know. So I was able to do that. So that was cool, you know, I did a little something. We all wore costumes and, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. So I got hooked after that. So. And uh, I remember that performance. We did a rehearsal, like dress rehearsal just before the show. And I did great in that. And when we, then we did the show. I was turning the wrong way. I forgot where I was. I didn't know what to do next. So, the, but nobody noticed. Nobody really knows what you're supposed to do when you're doing it. Unless they're judges. Oh can, my somebody tell a, can somebody tell the judges to maybe smile a little? Like, yeah, so. Oh, right. Look out there, and it's like they're just looking at you. <laughs> now, every, all your friends are in the audience. And actually, people you don't know, they're all cheering. Uh, the judges are like, yeah, like stone face. Oh, I was my, a smiley judge. <laughs> okay? judge. I can't one. help it. I'm just like, I was so they're happy. All... And like being in the judges panel, too, you're like front row. It was the best thing ever. Oh, the best seats, but they're like, oh, ha I guess half of them are writing stuff and the other ones are watching yes. you. And, yeah, and yeah. Like, on the little computers and I don't know <laughs> what they're doing. But anyway, I kind of ignored them. I know. But you get on, it made me nervous. You get on stage there. I mean, there's no real rehearsal. because you know, The first time no, I'm on stage, no. it, the lights are bright. Like, oh, my God. You're blinded you know, when you're a performer. And... And then you wow. forget everything. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God. And then the, but they were pretty organized. They had my music. I'm like, oh, I was worried if they're going to have my music. You know, I sent it in, yep. but I don't know. And so it started on time. And it brought me, my chair, me and my chair went out and we did our thing. And the, the audience was cheering. And it was yeah. just a lot of fun. I mean, I got through it and did okay. You know, people liked it. I came in third place, third out of three. But, you know, it was also came in last. but. You know, but like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't really a to compete, just to perform. So I, yes. I, I accomplished all that. And that was yeah. wonderful. It was just a wonderful experience up there. But the Hell judges yeah. crack a I smile a little bit. So, you know, I agree. They're annoyed, no, that, it's like they're annoyed you up there. <laughs> Thank Sorry. you for saying that. <laughs> Everyone's like, just a little. I know they're supposed to not give away their, uh, you know, like, Say anything that would upset somebody during a performance. But, you know, actually, after a while, I wasn't even looking at it. I had a, 
Maybe mm-hmm. they should put snacks on the judges' table. <laughs> I, I could bring <laughs> snacks for them. Would that be like a bribe? <laughs> then, then everyone would be just like happy, you know, eating a popcorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone is probably just hangry. That's all. Are they yeah. not allowed to smile? Are those like the rules? No, no they, there's nothing that says that. I mean, I. I'm just always smiling when I watch dance. So that's just who I am. Um, perhaps <laughs> people when they, you know, think <laughs> they don't, are not able to like emote on their face. So who, know, who knows? Um, but I don't think anybody's doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, I, feel like when they, I feel like when they don't smile, they hate it. And I'm like, why? <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, fortunately, there's like a hundred other people in the room and they're all cheering for you. So that's all you yeah. can hear, yeah. hear and yeah. see. And that's that a while there, but it's sort of a blur. You don't really see him anyway after a while. So I uh, just, you're just looking for the pole or the chair and doing that. And all of a sudden it's over. It's like you know, all this rehearsal and this whole thing is over and like, like that, like, wow, that went quick. So yeah. I hope I, did I hope I did everything. And, um, <laughs> but fortunately I, they have a package where you can get the video and the photos and all that. So I, I sprung for that and that was great to see you now. And uh, they really do a good job with the videos and the photographs and everything. So that was a lot of fun. So if anybody's going to compete up there, spend the extra money, get the video. If it doesn't look great all the way through, there's going to be a couple of shots in there that'll be super. So I just kind of screenshot them and hide the rest of the film. So uh, it worked out great. Yeah, I, I definitely it. think I want to buy the package next time because this time I didn't buy it. And I'm like, eh, I'll be okay. And I was okay, well, but... <laughs> well, they're they're up on a scat. They're up on scaffolding, so there's nobody. You're not gonna see anybody's heads in the way. Like if yeah. your friends are do, doing the you know, filming, you a lot of times yeah. you can't get a good good angle or. You know, the and that they edit out stuff. all the screaming and everything, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I, I mean, I can't say that for PSO. They do a really good job, except that uh, mm-hmm. you know, you need a super grandmaster for anybody seventy or over. Or, Yes. <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah i do i think they should because yeah i mean when i went into uh i made it into nationals last year and i was you know up against people also half my age and it was it, very intimidating but i and i placed last but i was the worst of the best <laughs> <laughs> so we can be last place winner so you're one of the best yeah <laughs> the last the last one um but yeah like i do think that they should separate separate out the levels and also as we talked about calling them different things um just because it doesn't make much sense for you know senior to be 30 30 to 40 yeah. and then like what comes after that like what else would you, maybe it should be like gold diamond platinum no, we don't want to be we don't want to be silver. Dude, my age group, yeah, want, no silver. No, 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 no. Or maybe that has other connotations. Like... When you're our age, silver's got other connotations. Oh, that is true, I guess. My hair is starting to turn a color similar to that at one point. So I don't I don't use the G word near my hair, so I no, it red. It's scarlet always, yes. Yes. It's been red for quite a few years now. It's always been red, except when it wasn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you, oh, have I, you thought sometimes of... Sometimes I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I was going to go into like a different... like. Have you ever thought about doing different competitions? I know you're just getting into it and everything, but there's... Uh, um, if I could learn about them. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, I, I don't know that much yet about the whole, the whole, uh, whole world. But yeah, I'd, I'd be interested. Yeah, there, I mean, there's an online one coming in this summer from um, the Pole Circus. Uh, Chris oh, and I did it the circus, last right. one. Yeah, yeah, it was so much fun. I would, I would totally recommend that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the theme is summer fun, so you could like. Oh, yeah, perfect. Right, oh, New Jersey you. Shore girl, right here. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> we do summers down here, pretty good. Yeah, I love that. summer stuff. Like ten and miles it's... from the beach, right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be That's amazing. A yeah, one too. I love it. And all apparatus, you can do chair and everything. Oh, good. And <laughs> Pulsar, yeah, that's, that's a good group. Yeah, yeah. I think they do kids too. If if you have like any uh, nieces or children or grandchildren, <laughs> you want to get into it. 
<laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Yes, we, we, we must recruit new people coming in all the time. Yeah. And, yeah. But, you come in at, but you can come in at any age. Yes. I yes. love that so much. I so agree. Yeah, I think that really inspires, will inspire many people because I think, you know, sometimes people think they're too old to start a new thing, especially a physical activity. Like <laughs> that's really overwhelming. And the fact that you're, you did it and you were so inspired by it. And now you're just like performing. You're a performer <laughs> out of nowhere. Unbelievable. So cool. I love it so much. And I'm having a blast. And, you know, I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'm, I'm not planning on being it. Like it's there's every time no such thing as perfect. <laughs> you know, and yeah. well, I've known some some of the some of the women I, I I take classes with are just super athletes. They just but they scared to death about performing. Um, whole, I mean, it's a whole different thing, right? Performing. Yes. So yeah, when you're in class, yeah. I mean, they'll put something on Instagram, but to actually be in the show where people are looking at you and you know you have to do stuff in front of an audience, it's it's really scary for people. No, yeah. I'm at the age where I don't care no more, but some people it does. <laughs> I, I understand it can be intimidating um, performing before a group, mm. even if they're very supportive. Like every time we have, especially at a studio, everybody's supportive. All people in the yeah. audience, your friends, but still it's, it's, it's difficult for some people to get over that. And some people, have, maybe they'll try it and that's it. They won't do it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, people don't like performing. Um, yeah, so I, I understand that. It's so, definitely not for everyone, but it's so amazing how like you were just like, "This is for me. I'm gonna perform." Oh yeah, <laughs> and I don't have to wait till I get good at it. So yeah, yeah, you don't have to wait till you like <laughs> get of. good at it. You're already good. You have you know dance in your heart, and it's you know we we love to watch it. <laughs> and, and I still have a lot to learn. Uh, one of the things they oh they do send you for guess anybody else if you go to a competition they'll send you a report card they'll write everything up they send it to you so you don't learn anything with the judges then except what place you came in then you get your report card from the judges and and you read like a couple of them are good and one is like does she even see the same performer do it it's like yeah. study somebody else <laughs> did they even see the same were they was she like looking at somebody so that happened with my i did a virtual one online you know the virtual one and the and the performance in person um, you know, it's usually like one judge is like, well, they, did she see the same show or you know, like, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Yeah, I did that. Wait, there's no back and forth, but, but one, but actually the live performance in Boston, they were very helpful, uh, critiques, very helpful, you know, things I need to work on, which I agree with. You know, so it was very helpful. Uh, they would like, one thing they wanted to see more work on the poll. So the tricks she did were good. But they wanted to see more of that. That's all. I mean, I guess they have to come up with something, you know, how to improve, something on that. Um, improving my musicality. So I'm not particularly musical, but working on it. So that I understand that, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I guess dancing to the beat, pointing your toes sometimes, we'll put that in there. But I haven't got, actually, this, the one in Boston, I must have pointed my toes good because I didn't get anything about, you didn't point your toes. And probably everybody doesn't point their toes at some point. If you're looking for yeah. something, that's always a good one to throw in there. Oh, I forgot, you know. So, um, <laughs> guess that's yeah, it. with those big shoes on, it's hard to point. They are really hard to point in the shoes. Yeah, and some people's feet don't even point. Like, as long as you're working hard to like extend mm -hmm. the line, that should be enough. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I noticed with especially with like Boston, some of the competitions, a lot of people don't wear shoes. Yeah, I noticed that. Like, oh wow, so. But I like wearing them, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep wearing them. <laughs> Got to keep pleasers in business and the other companies in business. So, you know, but I, I like wearing them, so I like I like doing that. But some people okay. they don't compete um, with the shoes on. So, oh, I yeah, that was yeah. Cool. Well, what's your favorite style of shoe then? Do you wear the boot or the the sandal? Oh, these babies right here. Yes, Sparkly. I love them so much. Sparkly. <laughs> yeah, I like the boots better. There's more support in the boots. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, and uh, I usually cheat is you wear a sock underneath. So I wear a sock, it makes it a little more comfortable. So you can do that. Same here. So wear a sock. So, but I like the, those better than these sandals. I also got some, uh, for my performance I did about a month ago, um, I wore like um, thigh high silver boots. So those are cool. The silver, thigh, thigh high silver boots. I don't know. Well, there are any other room, I'm not going to go how, get them, but I should have. How long do they take? 
you to get them on? Uh, they're a little bit of a struggle. That's a warm up. Oh, putting your boots on should be a warm up exercise in and of itself. Because they're all I just like got a, a pair struggle. too, and it it takes me about a half hour to get them on. Oh yeah, and by the way, if they're if they're tight, you kind of kind of <laughs> sweat in them a little. They yeah. kind of bring taking them off later. It's like whoa. So I might want to put some talcum powder or something in there. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but worth but, it. Yeah, but they're pleasers. They're like about a hundred bucks. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was so so worth it for the effect and the look and all that. So I uh, enjoyed wearing them. Yeah, it took a few minutes to put on. Uh, uh, mine were uh, had like a zipper and to kind of fit on. There wasn't any um, laces to worry about the ones I got. So, so that was good. But some have like a thousand laces, right? So uh, yeah, that should be a warm up all in and out of itself. Maybe even a competition of some sort of performance. Just putting shoes on should be a performance. Um, We'll, we'll talk about that in another performance. Maybe New piece. Give it a pole circus. Pole circus. Yeah. Yes. So put sh- <laughs> different kinds of shoes on. Now, actually, I most people that. wouldn't that. Some people, not so much. <laughs> that does so sound like funny. a good interview because I've never worn those high heel, those high thigh ones. So I'm curious to find out. I'm sure other people would be too. Well, they're. <laughs> They fit pretty good if you have kind of big thighs. They're going to be a struggle to get all the way up on the thighs. But they, once you get them on, they stay up. And actually, the material, um, I don't know what it is, but the, it, you can grip the pole pretty good, too. So it's good for climbing. Yeah, yeah I was surprised. Mine, um, they're not like the shiny material, but they're like the matte black, and they still grip the pole. I was so thankful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, <laughs> they're helpful for that. And they look yeah, great. Right. I mean, you know, yes. they look great. So, yeah. Uh, so that sure. was a show. I that was a and, show. I did that uh, show last month at Shore Pole, which is Redbeck, which was my first studio, and um, I wore like kind of a flapper dress to start out with, and took that off. And you know, I I, I did this all to a uh, Candyman by uh, Christina Aguilera, Candyman. So uh, I saw this one. Some, yes. Like, yeah, just <laughs> some chair stuff, some pole stuff. You know, got the, the big boots, and that was a lot of fun. They they put me on first. They, actually, I was the first one to go out that one because they know you'll get them going so and uh i told the other girls how come only, i'm the only one stripping this is because you're the only one that's got the chutzpah to do it so 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 i take i have a, a monokini on underneath so it's more more of a costume change than stripping but a little bit of a so um a lot of fun doing that i got them going so also a little bit of like burlesque too then yeah yeah, yeah. So I, I'll probably have to learn how to strip better because I'm trying to just I'm struggling with the, you know, it doesn't look that there, great. There like is an art stuff. to removing clothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I kind of not stuck and, you know, it's not really coming off right. And, you know, it's not particularly sexy, but once it comes off, then I get more, I have more stuff to do. So I got to get it off. Yes. You know? <laughs> so actually, oh. for my next performance, when I'm in the 1890s outfit, um, I got some fabric tape for the blouse, so I don't have to button it up, so I can just rip it off like that. And uh, the skirt kind of just unties real quick. The hat will come off. I'll probably have lace gloves on. Uh, I want to get bloomers for it, you know, the big long bloomers, like, but I have to find them so they can, I can just rip them off somehow. And I was asking my wife, maybe you could sew me something like that. She doesn't sew at all. It's like, oh yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> they don't. They don't but just the, make tearaway bloomers. I, I, well, I looked on that. Not so, not a, if they do, they're not on Amazon or anything yet. Yeah, probably maybe on Etsy. To, yeah. Yeah. So any, if anybody knows about tearaway bloomers, let me know about it. So the actual, <laughs> the actual real burlesque performers. So they can, right. So they have to be able to take it off easy. Yeah. So. I, <laughs> Just taking them off the regular way, it's going to take the whole performance. Just you know, it's not that interesting afterwards. Right. So. We need the tops that, like, when you go like this, they just like yeah. burst. <laughs> Love well, it. <laughs> With the tassels. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, wait. One of the first shows I did was another studio did a show at a bar, a go-go bar, and uh, it was our. It was there. It was called Make It Rain. So. In the, in the stripper world, make it rains means money coming down. So um, and actually, the contest was um, whoever makes it rain the most wins the $500 prize, plus whatever money gets 
trained on the stage. So uh, the woman who won got like, she must have had her husband hit the ATM machine. So she got like a thousand bucks there. So she won. But um, so I did a little more. I did a little more of the um, pasties. Actually, I had flashing pasties, a little of that, you know, there. But I really couldn't do that in some of the other places. The flashing pasties, like a PSO. You can't do flashing pasties. So, but at that thing, I could. That was called Make It Rain. So I will get only brown bucks. <laughs> yes, they'll they'll really be <laughs> frowning at me. But at this thing, I was able to do the, just, you know, a little bit. No. Love it. Wait, you can't, flashing you can't even do them in the naughty, in the naughty one, like shadow fan at night. I like, don't know. Well, yeah, I, I feel know, like there's maybe. different rules for the maybe. after dark, but it also depends on where the um, the venue yeah. is because some it's, locations only allow um, certain things. Yeah. What? It oh, varies God. by location. Yeah. And the, yeah. Yeah. So this was held yeah. in a bar, which is usually does go go. And we were perfect. You know, it worked out okay. And I was saying everybody screaming, throwing money. So that was, that was like 150 bucks. My wife went, you know, first time she was ever there. Everybody's nice to her, you know, and we don't drink. So we, she's drinking like $3 sodas or $8 sodas or something. Um, you know, but it was a lot of fun, but it was nice. And, you know, um, it was a little bit intimidating at first, but um, it was great. You know, it worked out great. And, and it, was, it was a bar, so they had all the flashing lights. The lights and the sound system was really super. We had two poles to use, so that was cool. And they, were, they were lit up, so it was a really tricked out place. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> that sounds that so awesome. Fun to dance. Yeah, <laughs> so that, was another, that was another stage we just got on with, like, no rehearsal time for mm. that particular pole or any of that. So yeah. well, it worked out, worked out, you know, nobody cared if you miss, if you miss something. Yeah. Um, That's you know, so nerve-wracking. It's a lot of fun. And some, some of the girls were great, you know, really, really, really talented. Um, um, I was sort of new. That was like, like about a year ago, so I'm brand new still, right? So what do I know? So I did poll and chair, and we usually routine a little bit about it. But, um, that was a blast. So hopefully they're going to do that again this year somewhere. So that's, that's a, another studio in Woodbridge called uh, Pole to Pole. They're, they're a good place, too. I think. I've taken some of their workshops also. Pole to Pole. I love that. You have they're a lot of... A lot of pole studios near you, so you can get uh, we well-rounded. Do. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah, and there's <laughs> some in the city, New York, some not far from Newton, Staten Island, New York. I haven't been to them yet, but they're there, and more in North Jersey. We have a pretty fair amount uh, within striking distance. So one's like three miles from where I live. The other one's 10 miles, my two local ones. Oh, that's and perfect. So it's pretty good. Yeah. They just don't have a stripper pole on the clubhouse here yet, so uh. I have at home to use, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, it's not, not like it's far. It's not like it's far away, you know. So mm. I'm retired. I have a flexible schedule, so I can take classes right. in the morning, at night. You know. That's perfect. Excellent. So I take like maybe five, six classes a week. Wow. Yeah. Well, a couple of them are like the flexibility classes, like basically like exercise class. So I take them. They don't make it on Instagram because <laughs> it's up on the show. <laughs> but if I get, if I get ever do a split, I'll get that picture of that. Ever actually do a pancake or some of these other flexibility moves. is a journey. <laughs> yeah, they said, look, it takes a while. And besides, yeah. I had never been doing this ever. So mm. it's 67 years of not exercising, pretty much. Mm. So. so I'm getting there. I keep, I keep going to class. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. And how do you see? Um, because when you said you first started, you were like, I couldn't even make it through the warm up, but now you're taking five classes a week. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. And, I, and I've mixed it up, so it's not all pole. Some of it's pole, some of it's chair, some of it's flexibility. So I'm not using the same muscles, I guess, all the time. So it's a little variety and gives my body a little little break for certain things, I guess. You know. Well, Chris, that, do you have any? That's awesome. You're like really enjoying your retirement. Like that is yeah. the goal. Of your Highly <laughs> recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Right, retire and pull. <laughs> what else are you yeah. gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just have uh, one one more question. Unless, uh, Chris, do you have a question? Yes. Um. Let me see. We already asked if she wanted to be a teacher, and you're thinking about it. Maybe in the future, once you get better. Um. Mm -hmm. God, I had a question, and I completely it like a. 
we were laughing. They got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite style of pole? Um, what do you find that you're leaning towards? Is it going to be like a chair included? Um, trick? Are, are you going to be like me, who's like more like a trick whore? <laughs> <laughs> Once I could learn some more tricks, I'd be good to incorporate those into my performance. I'll yeah. probably, keep, probably keep the chair in there because it's fun and it's, it gets some variety. And you got to come up with something for two and a half, three minutes, four minutes. Uh, so, um, in terms of style, I, don't know, I, have to, I would like to learn more about like the Russian exotic and this and that. But that's, that's as we go through this. Right now, I'm kind of learning a little bit of everything. So, but I like spin pole and I like static pole. And, no, I, I love some that. tricks, you know, um, I'm still learning. So I'm keeping it over mine. As long as it's fun. Yes. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Yeah. It might be a little painful at times, but as long as it's fun, uh, I can get all of that. <laughs> oh. The pain. What, are, what are some of the moves you're working on now? Well, yes. I started in versions, right? So I've kind of got my chopper where I can go, but I don't have to jump up. I can kind of get up there and come down. But um, I want to get that in my leg hang. I'm working on that, like the crucifix, that sort of thing. I can get my legs up there. Just don't feel tight enough to hold myself up only with my legs or a leg hang. I just working on that. I do it almost every class. I'll do a little bit just so I can not quite there in terms of feeling comfortable getting that down. So I, I know once I can start doing that, there's a lot of fun stuff I can do inverted, or at least partially inverted. So I want to learn more of that butterfly and all that kind of stuff. So still working on moving towards that. So it's a goal. It's a goal. And then something, uh, it's a challenge at this point. So um, you know, I'm going to keep working on that. And meanwhile, you know, every class will do something fun. I mean, I could do a hood ornament and this and that. And I was doing something called the Vomitron. I don't know what it's done. Something called a Vomitron. That, that can't be good, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know. So that one, um, I called it the Vomitron, and then another teacher in our studio oh. called it the Birdcage. So now I call it <laughs> Vomitron, a.k.a. Birdcage. <laughs> yeah, the, the people have, di that's the thing, different terms for the same move. I'm like, mm. okay, Vomitron sounds awful, but no. I want to learn it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, when you're, well, when you're in it, though, it does Australia. make sense. It makes sense that it would be called a vomitron because you like are spinning. <laughs> well, one does not want to actually vomit on a vomitron. It's more of a, no. <laughs> it would not be a good performance. I will not get to score good points with the judges. <laughs> as long as the, the vomitron both straddle. It's the way to... you're like. I know, spinny thing. You're like. Oh, oh yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, I, I was thinking of something completely different. Then you said birdcage. I was like, okay. Oh, so what do you call it then? Um, no, I call it birdcage or um, I've never heard vomitron. I thought vomitron. the vomitron was like that sexy leg straddle when you come from a sit and put your legs back. <laughs> That's a, that sounds um, good though. Violator. <laughs> oh, the violator. Yes, the violator. Yes, the violator. Okay. Vi okay. Which I called okay. the vibrator once. <laughs> the human vibrator. Oh, that that's a good move. I, that, it was a hard move, but that was fun. That is a human vibrator. Wait. Yeah. We can create that move. <laughs> This is oh all going to be shadow to band and after dark. <laughs> we come to a pole sit and we try to twerk. Then we get the That'll vibration. The vibrator. Oh, twerk. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next. Yeah. Well, but I want to learn twerking. I took a class on twerking a couple weeks ago. I didn't quite twerk much, but I want to learn how to, how to twerk more. Yes, I love it. I can't wait to more see More of a this. floor move, but you can do it on a yeah, pole. Yeah, yeah. People twerk and pole. Yes. Twerking Same is hard. Here. Like but those muscles, really I haven't is. used much of those. <laughs> Apparently, there's over like a hundred different ways to twerk. I was like, "What? I didn't even know that." This it's wow. ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, there's so much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it's fun stuff, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you know, it's 
something comes up like a workshop, I'll, I'll probably sign up for it. I'm signed. I signed up for a workshop on doing drops. Oh, that is sort of, which is sort of counterintuitive. You want to hang out of the pole, right? But, um, <laughs> but sometimes then you need I feel dyna- like, dynamic. Yeah. So this, um, one of the, this is the pole to pole studio. The woman who runs that is going to teach drops. I asked her, that is I have enough skill for this. Can you do a pole set? Yeah. Well, then you can do it. Be fine. Yes. Yeah. Drops 101, I guess. But, um, so I love we'll that you're that fearless. Goes. So fearless. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I it's like a three hour workshop. Yeah. Yes. Um, I love drops. I can't wait. You're going to have so much fun. <laughs> okay. But it's a little scary because I've seen people do it like from the top of the pole and they just stop. And yes. Like, two inches yeah. the floor. Into like, a split. <laughs> wow. So that used to I be won't my money be doing day. that on my first try, but you know, I can, I can drop. It's the stop that's the harder part. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really does hurt, but I love them so much. <laughs> it's like well, a it's roller just, coaster. <laughs> oh, good. So that you're in control of. Give it. It's a. It's um next month, so I'll give it a give it a shot. See what, see what it's like. Um, so, like I said, I might, I might do Philadelphia in terms of PSO, and maybe Boston again. Um, nice. We'll see how it goes. I was thinking of the uh, Polcon down in Atlanta. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I don't know if I can afford the airfare and all that, but we'll see. You know, mm-hmm. uh, put that in. Being that I'm really my age, I'm on a set income, so I have to. Kinda, they have a things. lot of. They have a lot of workshops going on this year. I was just reading. Yeah. So much. Yeah, yeah. There's no competition there, but it'll be all workshops and just having fun and shopping. Yeah. There's a lot of shopping there. Yeah, and they have performances too. Shopping. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that'd be fun to see. <laughs> oh, there's vendors there. Yeah, you'll you'll spend so much money. <laughs> yeah, so I have I to think about. I did not know that. So many <laughs> shoes, oh, all of the shoes, shoes and outfits. <laughs> you and... have to bring like a big suitcase so you can bring all the shoes back. Oh no, I changed my mind, and I don't ever want to go. <laughs> 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 Oh, no, but I haven't decided on PolCon yet. That's something I was thinking about. I'm not sure about PolCon, but I'd like to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. We'll see. It's yeah, I've picture. never that been. Be I... Yeah. Well, last year they I heard they had it in New Orleans when a hurricane hit. Yeah. All the, yeah. the women in my studio were stuck down there. Her mom had to go drive down and get her because oh they couldn't gosh. get out of town. There's no electricity. No, no, nobody, you couldn't That's even get so a bus out of town. Yeah. So that was um yeah during the hurricane last year. So they're in Atlanta this year. In like what June? Well, or you know, hurricane. Less, <laughs> less chance no of hurricanes hurricane. in June in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, um, that's so true. Um, but I've heard good things about Pole Con. So mm. Pole Circus here, good things about. It. Uh, yeah. I think she wants yeah. to actually get a circus tent somewhere. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> well, oh, that'd be kind of cool. That would be amazing. That's another one where you. That's another one in Valentine's where you can do the tassels. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flashing, I like flashing. Yes. No! The Ill- little LED lights in there and they flash. Oh my god! Oh my god! That I can't so wait. amazing. <laughs> I can't wait. But it's only certain situations. You know, it's, it has to be. It can't be a family friendly everyone. event. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you, do you have any advice for, for pole dancers in general? Well, keep trying because at first it may not feel good. It's going to hurt, hurt a little bit. Um, keep trying because there's a lot of fun there. And uh, I just, I'm so enthusiastic when I see new people showing up for class and you know, our chair class is another thing that's new for some people. Maybe they're doing pole, but they haven't done chair. And I always tell me, look, you know, we hardly ever just sit in these chairs, you know, we're doing standing on them. And like in our studio, they all got little dents in them, the seat of the chair from people standing on their heels and all. We're really killing these chairs. But, um, you know, chairs like this. She's okay. She's okay so far, but, um, you know, they all get beat up after a while. But um, telling people, keep, keep at it, keep trying. Um, let me sign up for a package if it gets expensive. It's a little cheaper if you do a package deal. Most places but, you know keep trying like that to just see what see what you you enjoy and mostly they'll find you'll find something that's enjoyable 
Love it. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I Chris, do have I, another one that came up. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you were going to ask it, um, but what is your hand grip of choice? Or does it change every season? What do you use for your skin type to stick to the pole? Dry hands. Dry hands. And uh, and tack. You see a tack? Awesome. So that's what that I've been couple. using. Works good. Yep. Works pretty good. Seems to be a popular duo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, most of the people that I learned from people I... I dance with and mm. works pretty good. You know. And, and you've never had to change. What's that? You've never had to change. Like that's all year. Not so, not so far. No, I've been using. I got one wow. other brand just because I couldn't. I couldn't get dry hands for a while. I got one outside with me here. Got one other brand of like dry hands, but um, that's it. I've used other people. Somebody, somebody has a spray. We tried that a few times. It's okay, mm -hmm. but um, but the hands are just for the hands and the. The, the tack is for the legs and yeah. other parts of the body. So it's a little thicker. So yeah, that works yeah. pretty good. Um, and where did, where did you get the, the arm covers? And do uh, they stick to the pole? Well, let's see. These are like fabric. Okay. Most sporting goods places will sell them. I get them on Amazon. Oh, okay. They fit like that. They try and get them stylish, of course. Of course. <laughs> Those would be useful even to learn just like regular the one the moves that like ruin your whole wrist too, like the right. twisted grip things. Yep. No, these don't stick, yeah. to stick to the pole. These do not, these do not stick to the pole. Oh, okay. They don't. So okay. The challenge with me is doing any kind of a forearm. A forearm, with, yeah. I really because I did it without, without them. Yeah. And I was bleeding bleeding already, just, oh, just from the friction. So I got sucks. these. These have a, a material that's on like the grippy pants. Oh. That that's awesome said. so these are a little different i just got these and there's some grippy material here oh, so i'm still perfect. trying to figure these out so uh i have to get the right angle at least help with doing like a forearm climb you can climb okay. yeah that's so, awesome so these are brand new i just got them about a week ago oops nice so, and you um, got them on amazon you said yeah i've been looking okay. for i'll just put grippy forearm i don't know it's Search on there, but yeah, it's on, um, it on Amazon. Perfect. So, but yeah, I, I love thinking, all the different clothing for pole. And you can pull yeah. outside in the winter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. There's more than I thought. Yeah, there's a lot. So these work pretty good. Yeah, love it. I'm gonna have to check those out on Amazon. Right, yeah, and I could just see because, like, sometimes when I'm practicing the the Phoenix prep, like my whole wrist because I'm not pushing my hips out far enough will get ripped up. But that would be nice to have just to practice and, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not rip up your skin. Oh. <laughs> it's, it cuts down on it. It's not 100%. Yeah, it cuts down. <laughs> oh. Of course, you have to get them stylish, and I only got blue because that's all they had in my size. They actually have different sizes. That's so, good. That's like awesome. Medium, medium adult, I think. Nice. So, and actually, you know who uses these? Football players. Ah. Because you can hold the ball and it's sticky. That makes sense. Yeah. You can hold the, That's hold the awesome. football better. Who knew? And really pole dancers. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they do I don't think they do is for pole yet. But it's That's the like same the dry idea, I guess. the dry hands is like for golfers or something, but we're like, hey. Yep. Yeah. They're kind of embarrassed <laughs> that we use. I heard that too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I think that was, that was all my questions that I had to ask. Chris, do you have any other questions? Oh, I think you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Chris. There you go. I don't, I don't think so. I think we had like a lot of questions, but she completely, you completely went into all of it. Okay. <laughs> you didn't yeah, even have yeah. to ask anything. <laughs> well, one thing I, I, I didn't mention, it didn't come up, I just want to mention it before we, we close it. I also identify as being trans, transgender. So um, okay. there are other people in 
whole or trans. They may not mention it or not. They may, may or may not say anything about it. So I just want them to feel welcome, the whole community, because we do honor all body types. And that's really yeah. important for some of the trans, you know, it's all one body type. And uh, some of us with our gender, you know, may not look exactly the type, you know, you know, may, may look a little different. Um, so uh, we may act a little different sometimes, like me with my voice, you know, with a little lower voice. So if you hear me on the phone, you can use the male pronouns usually. Uh, I usually don't correct people on the phone, but, um, you know, actually I did ask once I started looking in the poll, is it okay if I come to the poll a transgender person? I don't know, I don't have a problem with it. So um, I, you shouldn't have to ask. I just happened to do that. But, um, you know, nobody should have to ask, hey, can I come because I'm gay or anything? No, you don't ask that. But, um, but I kind of wanted to do that because I've, I've been out as a trans person for like over 30 years. I do know some people, not everybody's all comfortable about it sometimes. And I don't want to be invading any women's spaces that may feel uncomfortable um, having somebody like myself there. But it hasn't been an issue at all. No, not at all. Nobody's ever, I mean, I, I, do, I do say it on my Instagram page, you know, trans and proud and I vote. That's pretty about, I mean, once in a while I have a little trans sticker or something in my photos, but I'm really, it's not a political blog or my Instagram, but well, it used to be very political, kind of still I am sometimes, but not, not so much in the poll. But I um, just want people who are trans to feel welcome and hopefully I guess I'm, yeah. I guess I'll have to be an instructor. We need more trans instructors, I guess. You know, yeah. Trans identity. So, so people who feel comfortable doing that. And of course, more like more men as well. We need more men involved. I'm so glad you brought up that because um, I didn't even think to ask you about being trans. I was just your poll dancer. That's all I saw. Mm -hmm. it, so I'm so glad that you brought it up um, for other trans people to feel welcome. Um, and if you want to feel free to talk more about it, I didn't know if you wanted to go into it. So I am definitely so glad that you brought that up. Well, if anybody watching who know somebody trans if they, if they want to like um, direct message me and that sort of thing if they have any personal questions i'm happy to answer them personally but I'm, I'm not the kind of person i've never had any kind of surgery i don't take hormones or have taken hormones i'm not that kind of, this hasn't been my journey so uh, in some ways i might identify myself as gender fluid so that's that works for me sometimes uh the, the, another fairly new term is non-binary a lot of you hear people saying that sometimes or identifying as non-binary. Not sure if I'm quite there, but kind of, kind of. Um, so, um, but uh, but I do present more as female when I'm you know, coming in person when I'm polling in my personal life. So I do kind of extol the feminine, at least myself. But I I don't detract from the masculine at all. Masculine, we need more. We need masculine people, you know, masculine identified people. So. Um, Many, many good people, all stripes. So, um, but I do understand that for some people, it's a little bit of an issue, and, um, and, and safety is a big thing as well. You know, so people want to feel safe where they are. So, so far, I've been feeling very safe. I love that. I love hearing that too. And you're right. Like we're in, in the poll community, yeah. we're so welcoming of, of everyone, and we forget that sometimes um, people are closed-minded um, in some places. So. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully we will change the world as <laughs> pole dancers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People see how much fun we're having, and they feel left out. <laughs> yes, I actually took, uh, in in my certification class. There actually was um, a trans student. Unfortunately, not here in America. It was um, she was from Europe, but that would be amazing if there are more, especially here in America. We can just. Yeah get our shit together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm in contact with a couple here and there, you know, on Instagram. So I love it. And we, you know, we talk about some of the issues we might have with, you know, getting something that fits right or, you know, this or that, you know, there's always some. So mm -hmm. even though we're all body, we, we accept all bodies. Everybody's like, my body sucks or I, I can't do this. Or, my legs are this or it's always something yeah. about your own body you don't like. So, yeah. but most that's human, human, I think. So yeah. Um, but I'm gonna tell her, but hey, you're okay the way you are. Just have fun. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I so appreciate you saying this because, you know, the more people will see you being your authentic self, they'll be inspired to be themselves as well. And that's really what it's all about. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been delightful. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for this hour and a half. I know, we have to edit so much. I feel Nobody's like going to watch like this whole thing. Conversation. <laughs> I feel like it, it ran more like a conversation rather than an interview. We were just mm-hmm. talking and getting to know each other. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Uh, well, well, we look forward to seeing all of the wonderful things you have in store for the future. And, and you too. know, hopefully we can like pull together in the future. Oh, we'll do it at, at, the, uh, pol- at the circus. We'll do it at the pole circus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be love so it. excited. Oh my goodness! I would love. You're in New Jersey, you said. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jersey Shore. Cool. Part- yeah, we can go there. My partner has my partner has family out there, so maybe we will have to make reason to visit. Yeah, <laughs> that would be so fun. <laughs> oh, MG Jersey. <laughs> well, do you have any um, final things to say um, to listeners at all, or before we sign off? Oh, just just. Just keep at it. If, you, if, you're, if you're afraid to try it, go ahead and try it. I mean, if it doesn't work, it won't work. But um, if it's, it feels uncomfortable at first, it gets a lot better. It's a lot of fun. And it's, it's well worth the effort. And you don't have to be that great at it to have a lot of fun. Yes. So true. Keep Thank confident. you for that. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that. It's so true. All right, Terry. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out to tell us your story and and fill us in on how, how your upcoming journeys are going to be in poll. And I know. And I can't hopefully... wait to see the 90s with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. I love the, the concept of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry. Well, we're going oh, to sign uh, out then. Okay. I guess, Chris, you want to lead us off? <laughs> sure. Thank you, everyone, so much for tuning in in today's interview with the amazing. Scarlet Infernal. My name is Chris River. And I'm Mandy Mack. <laughs> and we are signing, we are signing off. off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much Scarlet. You're welcome. Thanks, for, thanks so much for having me. <laughs>